Just when there were thoughts that the dust was settling, then it all on Wednesday through what seemed shades at Uberenjo. He said that the anger of the Lord has caught up with people and he's exposing these people who are using the name of the Lord to cover up their nefarious activities. So God has descended and he is, he has vis he is visiting his house now. This visitation will continue for three years. And all kinds of strange things you are going to hear in the body of Christ. People humiliated. People that have been keeping secret sin and all of it will be exposed to lamblight. So if you can't handle it, look for cutting wool, put in your ears because you will hear stories. The Lord has descended and he will begin to approve strange things. He will begin to expose impostors. People that are using his name as a cover up for iniquity. God is on rampage. God has decided to visit. He's been quiet for many years. So people build thrones. People give, give themselves titles. A Nigerian teacher says any man of God who is involved in nefarious activities and has the fear of God would apologize and excuse himself from the pulpit for some time until the Lord sharpens him once again. When a man of God is, is caught in sin, what is expected of you is you come and say, I, I apologize to you people. I was sent to you people, but I missed it. Pray for me. I will be off the pulpit because it's just like you are driving a car and your tire is deflated. No matter how you are in a hurry to go to the hospital, no matter how, how much haste you are engaged in, because your tire has been deflated, it will be, you will need to stop the car. So what sin does to a man of God is that it, it deflates him. So such a, such a preacher should leave the pulpit. His life with God, his soul is more important than the pulpit. And it must be revealed in his life that he, he prioritizes his soul a more precious commodity than any form of visibility and any form of defense he can present. You should go back and allow Jesus to inflate you at his own pace. It might take six months, it might take one year until you are adequately inflated and the thing for which you fear when you look at it eyeball to eyeball you no longer triggers anything on your soul your heart has been weaned from its influence he observed that christians do not investigate the backgrounds of people they submit to but they just jump at anything some imposters some strange people that crept into the body of christ unawares by the time you trace their spiritual history, he has a lot of question marks because believers of these days, they no longer investigate. When John said we should try all spirits, why did he say we should try all spirits? Because he said many false prophets have gone into all the world. Whenever you see someone or a group of people that are comfortable with sin, they defend people that are thieves, defend people that indulge in darkness. Those are people that have become victim of the victims of the agenda of the devil in these last days because they are victims of imposters that crept in. Apostle Romeo and you